Well, good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. It is Monday, September 13th, the 24th Monday of Ordinary Time, and it is the feast day of St. John Chrysostom, and he was an, an early bishop and doctor of the church in the late 300s, early 400s, in which he is known for his, primary, he's, a, he's left a huge impact, actually, especially on the Latin rite the Western Church, because he's from the Eastern Rite. Um, in fact, the Eastern Rite celebrates his feast day on a different day. Um, I believe it's tomorrow, actually. But um, He is known for his preaching and public speaking, had a very powerful rhetoric, and um, he is also known for his denunciation of the abuse of authority and the abuse of power, because he saw that taking place um, in the not only in society, but in the church as well. So he is the patron saint of Constantinople, which he was the bishop of, as well as the patron saint of preachers so, and lecturers. So with that being said, today's gospel is from Luke chapter 7, verses 1 through 10. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit, Amen. When he had finished all his words to the people, he entered Capernaum. A centurion there had a slave who was ill and about to die, and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation and he built the synagogue for us. And Jesus went with them, but when he was only a short distance from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and let my servant be healed. For I too am a person subject to authority, with soldiers subject to me. And I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come here, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him, and turning, and turning said to the crowd following him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. When the messengers returned to the house, they found the slave in good health. All right, so we've got the healing of a centurion's slave. And if you pay attention to the characterization between all of everybody in here, um, it's pretty pretty cool, um, especially if you dive deeper in, in which, of course, Jesus is, is a Jew, but he's entering the house of a Gentile which are enemies. Um, and so that's that takes a, a, a play in here. But also the, the centurion demonstrates humility. And you can see that he, he treats this slave, even though he's a slave, because we oftentimes have a negative connotation here um, with, the, with the term slave, because there's been different parts throughout human history where slaves did and for, had a terrible connotation. But in this context, a slave is like he's working justly underneath the centurion who treats him well. And so um, it's, you know, it's pretty much like a, it's just the job, but they're using the term slave here. Um, but because technically aren't all of us somewhat slaves to our labor. Um, but anyway, um, Jesus is here and they're having this conversation and Jesus is listening to, listening to the centurion as well as the slave. And they recognize just how unworthy they are for Jesus to be there. They've heard about him, but they didn't even want to approach Jesus because they felt like they were unworthy, meaning they have a, a faith and trust and belief in what Jesus has been doing. Um, so they weren't even going to reach out. And, and they just demonstrate that deep sense of humility by even saying, I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you. Or no, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Say the word and let my servant be healed. That is exactly what um, Catholics say at the Catholic Mass before receiving the Eucharist at Mass. Because um, none of us are worthy of anything that Jesus and God the Father wants to do for us. But that's why we got to demonstrate humility. And hopefully that is shown in our lives and how we live it. Um, but um, that's where this line comes from, from Luke's Gospel. Um, for any of you Catholics that recognize that, you know, Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. 
like I said, we only in say the word, my soul shall be healed. We're talking about our spiritual health here. Um, but Jesus likes to heal in the physical too. And that's what happens. He sees, he's like, I tell you, not even in Israel, his home area, has he had this much faith that these guys have demonstrated. So Jesus heals them. You know, and I think that's our invitation for for today and this week as we enter a new work week is do we enter it with faith and do we truly um, have trust that the Lord Jesus Christ is, is there to help us and be with us and walk with us in everything that we do. And do we humble ourselves of that knowing that without him we have nothing and we are nothing. So we need to know who we are and also whose we are in order to live a full Christian life. So with all that being said, have a great day. God bless. And have a good start to your week. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.